Hey, Instagram Live, it's Karen. How are you? Um, I am going to read today Courage to Change. And let's see, I'm back. Hopefully, my connection is better. Courage to Change. You know, I have great internet here. And all of a sudden, it just keeps cutting out on me. My ego's taking a big hit here. <laughs> you know, I opened up this Courage to Change today. And um, it's weird because I opened it up and look. It's like in the middle of the book. I started looking at the beginning of the book because it feels like the beginning of the year. It has been a weird year. Oh my God, this is the weirdest year of my life. It was weird with Mount St. Helens Blue. Uh, you know, that was a weird time too in my life. I remember I was living in Spokane, Washington and Mount St. Helens erupted and I thought it was the end of the world and uh, I survived. So probably gonna survive this too one day at a time. I'm gonna re read June 8th today. I have not read it yet, so here we go. Let's read it together. Step six speaks of being entirely ready to have God remove all my defects of character. Yet I find that I often cling to my defects because they give me a certain amount of pleasure. What defects could possibly give me pleasure? Revenge, for one. <laughs> I spend lots of time creating mental scenarios in which I punish those who have hurt me. I also get a great deal of enjoyment from thinking that I am never wrong. In other words, I cling to my pride. Yet these characteristics and defects that get in the way of living, the kind of life I want to live and prevent me from treating myself and others with love and respect. There is an abundant reason to let them go. But to do so, I have to become willing to lose the enjoyment they sometimes deliver. My recovery will have a joint, giant void as long as I am unwilling to give up my shortcomings. If I want to heal, I must turn over my will in my life and my character defects to God. Today's reminder are the small temporary pleasures I get from my defects of character worth the price I am paying to keep them? If not, I may be entirely ready to let them, some of them go today. Well, that is interesting. I, uh, I laughed and laughed during this because uh, I relate. I can relate to this. Um, what effects, what, what defects could possibly give me pleasure? Revenge for one. <laughs> I spend lots of time creating mental scenarios in which I punish those who have hurt me. <laughs> oh my God. I think a lot of people do that, right? A lot of people, these mental scenarios in my mind, talk about, uh, talk about, oh God, rationalization, justification, delusion. Um, anyway, step six, it's talking about step six here, about being ready to have God take away my defects of character. Now, the way this was explained to me, six and seven were always kind of vague, like I didn't get it. Uh, and it's after I've done my fourth step and I see the part I've played, right? I see I'm not a victim in my life. I am the perpetrator of everything that happens to me. And after I see really how I behave, I ask God to, to, in step six, I ask God to help me stop doing that. Don't do that anymore, right? Um, it also asked me in step seven uh, to start doing what I'm not doing, right? I mean, there's some stuff that I'm doing that I shouldn't be. And then there's other stuff I should be doing that I'm not, right? Give me the power. Um, somebody's asking me about LGBTQ. What do I think? Uh, what do I think? I think, uh, you know, I, I'm a very open-minded person. I talk about recovery. I have friends in, that are LGBTQ+. Plus. Um, I've helped all sorts of people in the world. I am as open-minded as they come regarding um, anything, re religion, gender. I'm a very much live and let live kind of person. And I believe that, um, I believe that recovery is one of those things, alcoholism and addiction is one of those things that's an equal opportunity disease. Unfortunately, it doesn't care if you're, um, what nationality you are, what gender you are, how you relate sexually. It is, um, 
you know, it's, it's, alcoholism is one of those, it levels us all right, the humanity, right? It's kind of like this COVID-19, COVID-19 attacks people. You know, at first they said it was older people, um, you know, with, with heart disease, you know, people in their 80s. And then, no, wait, it's this. No, wait, it's that. No, wait. Hey, how about it's just going to attack everybody, any human being. So I'm a big humanitarian. I believe in the human race. So um, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know why that happens. I'm I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, someone just told me on the comments, if you're reading the comments, uh, I'm a gay boy 10 days ago attacked by six guys. I'm sorry. I, I, um, I send you love and light and healing. Please stay safe. Uh, be careful. Um, I don't think gay is a sickness. It's a human trait, right? So, and I think that there are, what is great about the world right now, especially with this pandemic, is there's so much help available online for everybody. And there is a ton of support for you. And you need to, you need to reach out to support. If they hit you because they're gay, they're very sick people. They're very... Right now, the world is riddled with people that are either in the problem or in the solution, and you need to get in the solution. So if you Google support, Google uh, support for uh, gay youth, right? Um, there's for, God, let me think. I got to switch my track of thinking here. Uh, I went from talking about the sixth step, but I want to talk about this. Um, Bullying. There are websites for bullying. There are websites for LGBTQ support. In my town, there's a place called the Center, which is full of supportive programs for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender youth. Whatever it is, there's lots of support. You need to Google that. You need to reach out to those people. You need to get some support. You need to make sure you're safe. Okay? There's no reason not for you, for you not to live a wonderful, free life. Um, you must be, you're, you're in another country. You know, I, I, I understand that. So the help, though, that you need, even though you're in another country, right now we have people on Zoom. If you've heard of Zoom... There's Zoom meetings and support groups all over the world that you can now log into if you have a computer. I know you have a phone because you're on my Instagram watching me live. So I know you can get some help. And what I will do is I will post those kind of things, those kind of resources where you can get some help. So if you want to check back with me, I'm going to post them. I'll post them on my story. Um, lots of people need help right now. Um, you know, that there's help. I'm just going to tell you, I don't know if you came on here for help with drugs, alcohol, gambling, abuse. Um, somebody, of course, just reached out. They're in a country. Good, you have a mobile phone. So you can go on and you can Google LGBTQ support. Okay? You can search for help and support and see if there's any in your country. In your, start with your town and see if there's any support for the youth. If there's not, then you're going to go outside of that. I don't know what country you're from, but there's support all over the world, and it's free. Okay? So you can get some help. Yes, you can direct message me in Instagram and tell me what country you live in. And let me see if I can get you some help. And whoever Pedram82686 is, uh, you can definitely direct message me and tell me what kind of help you need. And I'll help you find the resources you need. Okay? There's no country. There's no support in your country. That's okay. Maybe you're going to start the support in your country. Maybe you will be the movement. You will be the solution for others. Okay? So... Don't feel alone. You're not alone. 
There are people all over the world that will support you and who you are, okay? So direct message me and tell me what country you're in and let me see what kind of support there is available for you online. You want to stay safe as you can. There's some crazy things going on in the world, all right? Um, I'm glad that you came on today. And I wasn't what I was planning on talking about, but I guess uh, this is a good place, is that this answer that I have for my alcoholism and addiction is available for anybody right now that's messaging me. And that is, there's a spiritual answer. You might feel alone, but there is a God. I don't know what you believe in. I don't know if there's religion in your country, um, but I'm sure there's spirituality. And religion is organized. Spirituality is where you believe in something bigger than yourself. Okay? It could be when you look out at the sunset or the sunrise or the birds, maybe your dog. And you can see that there's a whole world going on there that has nothing to do with you. There is a source of power on the planet, right, in the universe. And it's there to help you. So you're not alone. If you were born a human being on this planet, you have access to this power. It's a higher power. And you can tap into that. I believe it's deep down within all of us is this higher power this support, this love, okay? So you're going to be okay. You're not disturbing me at all. And you can tell me your problem because we all have problems. And the reason that I come on here is so that I can help someone. And usually I come in to talk because my experience is with um, drugs and alcohol, but I have a lot of experience in a lot of other issues. Um, I live in a predominantly LGBTQ community here in Palm Springs. Uh, There's mostly gay people. The mayor here is gay. Um, I work for someone that's a gay woman. And, uh, you know, I, I have had gay people in my life for years, you know, 20, 30 years since I've lived here. It's predominantly gay. And so I have a very open mind. Um, A lot of people don't. A lot of countries aren't there yet. And it's okay. That just means you're a groundbreaker. That means you're the first. And trust me, there's a lot of other people in your country that feel the way you do. So you're not alone. It's just it might not be safe for you all to be talking about it or meeting at this time. Okay? But that's the beauty of the Internet. There's help everywhere. All right? So um, anybody but that's watching this, I want you to know that you can tap into a source of power greater than yourself. Whether you're watching this and you're an LGBTQ uh, youth who's just got the shit beat out of them for being gay, whether you're a woman who's in an abusive relationship, whether you're a drug addict who's living on the street, there's help. You don't have to figure it out yourself. There's a higher power. And there's a lot of meetings and there's a lot of help online. Okay, so you need to think about the solution. We're not going to worry about the problem anymore. We've got to move towards the solution. And there's a whole bunch. If you see on the news right now, all those people marching, they're not just marching for black lives. They're all moving in a positive direction, right? Whether you believe it or not, people are, there's change happening on the planet. Some is good, some is bad. But people are moving towards a direction of hope, of growth, of change. So you're just going to move forward. And you might not be able to march somewhere, but you can turn on your computer and you can Google help. I'm glad that you told me. A lot of people tell me stuff they've never told anybody. And, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that you're safe. So you got to be safe. you got to be physically safe. Okay, and uh, there's a way to do that. There's a way to get help and support. Ask God for some help. If you don't believe in God, you can ask my God. Okay, so I do these readings quite often. For those of you that tuned in to hear about the sixth and seventh step, um, I guess I said what I wanted to about that, right? We're supposed to ask God to take away my defects of character. And quite honestly, when I got in here, I wasn't on as good a shape as I am right now because I got to be helpful. I got to be there for someone. See, that's what life is about. 
Life is not about uh, sometimes what I think it is. I'm just reading these comments. Yeah, you want to be careful. I don't know what country you live in, but you want to be careful. Okay, there's a lot of people that want to harm other people for just being who they are. That's just, unfortunately, that is part of life. And you got to look for the people that are going to support you and love you. And I knew this morning when I came on, I'm happy that you came on here. I really am. I knew this morning when I came on here. Sri Lanka, I see. Okay, I think the people, there are some beautiful people there in Sri Lanka. Yes, I do know Sri Lanka. And there's some beautiful people there. And I'm going to try to find some information for you. So direct message me and let me get you some support. Okay? And you can just Google it on your phone. You don't have to tell anybody. You can just start searching out for help. And then you'll be able to help someone else. Because really helping other people is the bright spot of my life. I went for a walk this morning and I thought, I need to get on today. I haven't been doing as much live. And I thought, there's somebody out there that's going to need some help. And I just didn't know it was you. That's all. And I'm happy that it is you. And I hope you feel better. And I don't want you to feel bad about yourself. You're just fine. God doesn't make mistakes. I promise. So Sri Lanka, I'm going to um, start Googling some resources for you. So make sure that I can get this information to you. All right? And I'm really grateful you're all on here today. And I'm glad that somebody uh, reached out for some help. Because that's really what this is about, is one person helping another. Love you all. Be safe and be well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.